Hey, how's it going, YouTubers? It's Mojo Siesta. Today, I'm bringing you, hopefully, what seems to be positive news. Um, this is going to be about Sony and the PlayStation Now subscription plan, confirmed along with PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 games. As far as the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games, those will be first party, which is great. I mean, I never really cared about third party games in those genres. But, I mean, that Sony's. Uh, I think about doing a subscription plan. Now, I don't know what the price is. They said they're working it out. Uh, they probably might be able to still kill your wallets, but hopefully they have a, a something that they set up just like last uh, generation with the PlayStation 3, where they had it, you know, three months for $17, uh, six months for 30 and then a full year for $50. Uh, that seems pretty reasonable to, reasonable to me. Honestly, uh, Sony should just get rid of some of those third-party titles that are really hammering their wallets. Um, I would like to see some third-party games on there still, but if it's going to affect the price overall, then I, I say maybe Sony should just knock it off and get the first-party titles on there, the God of Wars, Twisted Metals. You know, it's it's going to be tough, though. I mean, this just sounds very pro-Sony, but, I mean, it would be nice if they could keep all the games from EA, Platinum, and all those guys, but, you know... Right now, from what I see on the prices so far, those are the guys that are really making the PlayStation Now service look so bad, and Sony's not really doing anything about it. But hopefully that, hopefully they'll start working on a deal. I think a yearly deal or a six-month deal would be really good, especially if they keep it no higher than at least 60 bucks. You know, but you know, uh, I've already got someone who said that that might be a little too generous and. The way how Sony's finances are looking right now, you know, I mean, these these dudes, the only thing they got in their soup cuffs are steak sauce. I mean, shit, these guys can't even do their own laundry. But anyways, <laughs> I don't want to get into Sony's finances. Um, yeah, they are desperate for money, but hopefully they see it as, you know, the cheaper price will make up for itself for the amount of subscriptions that they'll rack up, especially with EA now, from what I hear, is killing it. Everybody's excited that they got the Dragon Age from EA, uh, EA now, uh, plus along with some of the other games. So if Sony can have something like that, where you get people to get excited for, then that'll not only make people want to buy the PlayStation, um, but you know get the subscription, <laughs> get the damn subscription. You know, especially, especially you know, if you're not even going to be able to download it digitally, if they're going to make you stream it, where sometimes you know there could be issues or not open to everyone for the bad internet, you know you got to have a reasonable price. Um. Anyways, uh, before I leave, I'll give you a quote. It says uh, this is from the uh, one of the top managers of uh, Sony's division. He says, "Yes, the subscription plan is being worked on, and I am very excited about it." We see it adding complementary options and rentals as a way of enjoyment of immediate access to PlayStation 3 games via PlayStation Now. More details coming in the future. So I'm assuming that when the PlayStation Experience comes during December 6th, I believe, or maybe it's 5th and the 6th. I heard it was a two-day thing. Uh, maybe they will talk more about it. Um, they're probably going to talk a lot about the new PlayStation TV that they want to have that's going to be running off of the cloud servers, which is good because I always wanted to see Sony get more into, uh, you know, get more up to date when it comes down to online. You know, I see uh, Microsoft doing a very well job of uh, using the cloud servers in their games, and, you know, Microsoft in general is just using cloud for everything and they're making a killing off it. You know, it's time for Sony to graduate from the fifth grade and move up to uh, the middle school. But anyways, um, they're going to be talking about PlayStation View. Hopefully they'll be talking about the PlayStation Now, elaborating more on what, what we're going to see to come, uh, especially when it comes to games and the prices that will be available. And of course they're going to be talking about uh, a couple of new IPs coming along with Sony's. Uh, I know Naughty Dog's coming up with a new IP. I can't wait to see it. Naughty Dog has always given us uh, something good. And uh, as well as Sony wants to surprise us with an exclusive that's going to be a third party. Uh, I don't really like that they're doing third party exclusives. I think that takes away the fun from some of these other people. But yeah, we'll have to see what it is. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you for watching and you guys have a good one.